you an M12 Swiss soon. Uh, first some announcements. Probably going to be posting a lot more videos soon since I've been selling off my uh, collection. I'm probably not going to be done before that one fires. Um, and so I'm getting a nice chunk of change from that. And I plan on probably investing that in buying and trading cards in real life and online. And I'm thinking of setting up a bot system where you can you uh, when you buy and sell, there's a credit system, like a special credit system on top of just regularly saving credits from excess, you know, points of a ticket. Uh, where you would get like camel ticket, camel creds, or something like that, because, you know, this is my selling account, or my trading account's card camel, apparently. And, yeah, and then you could use those special credits on your purchases on the bot to take away from the total. Obviously, you can't get credits on credits. And you can also use them for eBay purchases and possibly store purchases if I ever get a store outside of eBay. Uh, and they would come off your final fee minus shipping. I think that sounds pretty good. And possibly some other promotions, like if you buy stuff on eBay, but like, then you buy like a play set of commons and uncommons for a set, you get free shipping or something. Stuff like that. That's what my plan is going forward. Like Tomorrow I have to... Uh... Oh, and I would buy cards, obviously, in lots or in collections from people probably doing that now, if anyone's interested. And, uh, cards, too, but I don't know how I'm going to get a physical... The hard part is getting a physical card stock somehow, because I'm in Canada and don't have a brick-and-mortar store, and so it's just like, eh, where the cheapest... What's the cheapest way? And yeah. Anywho, that's what that is about, and then I'm going to pause it, and I think that's F11. Let's hope it's F11. And I'll bring you a Swiss afterwards. Okay, it's not F11. F12? No, F10? Alright, here we go. Turns out it was an F10. Ooh, Gideon's Avenger. Uh, Alright. Dissecting the pack. There's the Gideon's Avenger, Acidic Slime, Gorehorn Minotaur, Lawkeeper... And probably Aether Adapt. There's not really a good black card. This is a good pack. I wonder if Gideon's Avenger is worth anything. I will check right here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Eh, it's not worth anything. Well, it's better than Lawkeeper. Everybody hates green on Channel Fireball. Well, not everybody, but, like, the videos they posted. I know Gideon's Avenger is a big game. It's probably better than Gorehorn Minotaur first pick, maybe? Maybe not. Uh, I think I'm just going to go with it. See what happens here. Blech. There's a Consumed Spirit. Scramble versus Terrible. Uh, I guess it's not technically unplayable, but it's pretty bad. There's an Armored Warhorse if I want to stay white, which I think that's a good card. Or there's an Avon Fleetwing if I want to go blue. I really like this card. There's also a Sacred Wolf, which is fine, but... Mm. I don't know. I think I'd want to prefer to send the good signals. Whoa! Vampire casts. Alright, so there's a giant spider, uh, vampire outcast, and benelish veteran. Uh, it's a Swiss, so I can have some fun if I want. I don't have to take the... I think probably the best card is the benelish veteran, veteran, but I think the more fun card is vampire outcast, and yeah, it's foil. Whoa. Well, alright. There's a Ring Flesh. Uh, some stuff, but there's another Benelish Veteran. Tap Target Creature. Eh, not likely. 
That wouldn't really... Oh, there's a Bell Tower Sphinx, a Grave Digger, and a Law Keeper. That's interesting. I think it's between Grave Digger and Law Keeper. I think we want to more cast white, play white than black. We might be able to pick up a second color in the second pack. So I'm going to take the Gideon's Law Keeper. Uh, and it's a Swiss, so there's just a pacifism here. Uh, sadly, we pass another decent white card, so... If, yeah. But anyways, there's a pacifism. Alright, so... Let's see. The black cards are exciting. Plummets in the pack. We're not that... I think we just stay on color and take the uh, Divine Favor. We can start picking up flyers eventually, hopefully. So we'll... I don't know, maybe we'll just end up with all the pacifisms instead. Uh, this is water, I don't want to drink that. <sighs> oh, I guess I should give you some eBay information too. Ebay.com, my eBay. This is me, Card Camel. There's nothing up currently, but I should be posting auctions tomorrow and stuff. So, yeah. Uh, Griffin Rider? Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the Griffin Rider, and yeah. Alright, so White's just broken open. I. Now that we have the Griffin Rider and sort of like Gideon's dude and like the Arbalist lead is good, but I think with the deck we have we can take the Peregrine for out Falcon and Scramble Verse is still terrible. I'd rather have a Dark Favor than a Moss Mastodon. Uh again we're probably gonna be well, not again, but we're probably it looks like we're gonna be heavier white than um black. So the drifting shade isn't really that good here, so I'm gonna take the Dark Favor. Uh, Armored Warhorse table. Didn't we take a, the other good white card out of this pack? Yeah, we'll just take the Armored Warhorse. Horse. Uh, Dignity's alright, but Siege Mastodon is just, uh, it says it better trades on Common Draft. Yeah, so I don't think I have an unplayable card right now showing. Yeah. So just, just these two cards. The last two. So, 13? 12? 13? 13? 13 playable cards, and... I don't know, I'll just see if that's worth any money. Otherwise, I'm taking Child of the Night, apparently. Just the lifelink puts it over the Warpath Ghoul. Uh, I think because it's both aggressive and defensive. But where, like, the Warpath Ghoul can trade with their two drops. So it's better if you're using it defensively to trade up with, like random higher mana dudes. Uh, I could be talking out of my ass there, though, so... Hey, what's it called? Dung Grove Elder? Doesn't sound more like it's worth money. Eh, half a ticket. Nah, it's not worth it. Yeah, we'll just take the child of the night. Buried Ruin... Well, there's no good white card, which is sad. I might have put the guy to my left, but there's a Grave Digger. It's also a shock, but yeah. Wait, there's a stave... Oh, there's a pentavis. What? Yeah, there's a pentavis. This makes flyers and is a 5-5 five five for 7. Yeah, there's a pentavis. What? <laughs> anyway, so yeah, 6-6 six, six flyer for 5 is pretty good. I think it's even better than Assault Griffin in our deck. Uh, yeah, I'm not, I, I think we're just going to play like a black-white even mana base now, that's what I'm looking at. And we don't have to play all these enchantments, like, I'm just showing them because they're playable. But like right now I'd probably cut it like a dark favor or something. I'll oh, pause, which it's not F10. It's F9? Yeah, it's F9. Uh, Sutured Ghoul doesn't do it for me. Or, Sutured Ghoul? Yeah, I don't 
it's not worth anything. Let's see, there's an active treason. Hmm. Stampeding Rhino. I, don't, I still don't want the Drifting Shade. So it's a hate, a Stampeding Rhino, or take a Foil Active Treason. Demystify. Oh! Uh, no, yeah, I'll take the Demystify for my sideboard. Armored Warhorse. Doubling Chant. Another Active Treason. We saw a lot of flings in the first pack, too. Um, let's see, what's going to be better here? This is better on my mana, but we definitely only have one griffin. So I think it's safer to take the warhorse and see what happens. Well, and as I say that, I get a griffin, so maybe I should have thought of that. There's also a stave off, which is good, and like a manolith, which would help, but I would take the griffin sentinel here. And, and well, okay. Guess I should have taken that out there. Alright, so the crap pack comes back. I think, for me, the best card is this foil. Lifelink is pretty terrible. Hideous Visage is not unplayable. Uh, oh. Huh. Yeah, like, Stave Off is really good, but Oromancer? It's a creature, and that makes a lot of my equipment's better. And I guess I got an armored warhorse. So many warhorses. Oh, this is a vampire too. Cool. It has synergy with my six six flyer. So is the child of night. I I realized that. I'm gonna hide the hideous visage for now because we have a lot of good cards in the pack to go. It's a mythic too, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Never mind. The mythic's even worth a ticket. Woo. Uh, Hunter's Insight is good, but, I don't know, I take that Act of Treason, Uncommon, Urrah. Hey, wait, no, damn, I'm not in those colors, that's a Pegasus, eh? Hmm. Pegasus of the Griffin. Man, I wish I could take that Flame Blast Dragon, but it's not going to be worth any money. So, yeah, I'm just going to take the Storm from Pegasus. Whoa, I'm not red either. I'm not blue. Oh, that's a Paragon Griffin. Wish I was red. But, uh, Visions isn't worth anything, is it? I eh, have a ticket. Whatever. If I was blue, I'd probably take it. Here, I'm going to take well, a Peregrine Griffin to go with my two Griffin Riders and a, my Bloodthirsters. Uh, because it flies. So, easier to get in for damage. See what I'm going there. Well, shit. That is definitely an Incinerate, too. Alright, LD, if you're watching this, it's not my fault I didn't go red. There was no signal. <laughs> it's alright. So, hmm. Two Griffin Riders. Hmm. Now we have this will be our fourth. I don't know. I think I think it's the Griffin Sentinel. What is this nonsense? What is this nonsense? This is so unstable, but I don't want to play that. I could play another Vampire Outcast, or I could take this Pegasus. Hmm. I don't know, I think it's the Vampires. Could be wrong. Whoa, Honor of the Pure. If I knew I was gonna, if I knew I was gonna get that. Is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Yeah, I actually take the Honor of the Pure. Uh, Griffin, ooh, what's better? Griffin Sentinel or Assault Griffin in my deck? I don't have to play that Mastodon. So yeah, and then I think I can use another 4-drop, and then I'm good. And then I just want to, like, concentrate on here if I can. Damn, wish I was red. 
Oh yeah, and let me know what you think about the whole credit thing. Obviously, it's just conceptual at the moment. So, open suggestions. And, yeah. I guess we should pause. Oh, no, nope, never mind. Elixir, Brink. Let's just take the Guardians, Jimmy, make it bigger. Or, thing. Like, all our creatures are white, so. Except for, like. Maybe we won't play Child of the Night? Eh. Oh, uh, I guess we have to cut a lot. Maybe I won't play the Oromancer package, like, cut the Divine Favors and. Master Thief, Pride Guardian. I already have a Demystify. I'm just going to take the big guy. Hey, the griffin came back. Hmm. Hmm. It's another five drop. Alright. take the griffin, because I might get another griffin rider. I will take the herbalist elite. I will take the oromancer. I'll... Hmm. I think I take the purge over the thirst. Just take the drifting shade when I'm playing it. Death and tomb. We might play it. Probably not. Alright. To deck building. Andiamo. <sighs> Alright, I'll pause, I guess. Okay, deck building. Pentavis. Nah, maybe, maybe, maybe. No. No, yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa. Probably not. Um, uh, maybe. Maybe. Uh, I don't th think so. That is definitely just 30 cards. I am going to screw this up. I think I have so many two drops that even the synergy with Bloodlord just it seems like a good idea to cut that and just leave these four good black cards. And then Do I want Guardians? But oh yeah, if I'm cutting those, I should cut those. And that. Honor of the Pure is still good because I have one, two, three, four, five. Like it gets really good with Armored War Wars. Three fours. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Ah, that's pretty good. And with my two Griffin Riders. Oh, why is there a Kraken's Eye in there? Okay, deck built. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Alright, so let's just hope we don't play that insane red deck and we go 2 1, or we go 2 1, or something like that, because this deck looks pretty good. It's a little removal light. Uh, that is because of a few choices I made. Like taking the Celestial Purge over the Soren's Thirst, because I feel our deck is my deck is powerful enough that uh, I will beat a deck in which the Thorns Soren's Thirst will come up, but I am less likely to beat a deck where Celestial Purge will be bonkers. And uh, yeah, that's my deck. Piles by color ten seven. No, way more than that. Well, eleven six. These are all double, though, so... 10-7, and then I might have a problem, a little problem playing the War Horses on turn 2, but since I have so many other 2 drops, don't I? Uh, I got a few drops. Eh, I just want to be able to cast this stuff. Alright, that's my deck. I'll be back in a bit.